We love to think through these big social questions through making things. Using the strategy of aesthetics to also draw folks in, to talk about some of these big social issues. As a collective, we combine aesthetics with politics because at our core, we all are visual artists. We are Related Tactics. We're a collective of artists of color creating projects at the intersection of race and culture. We came together as a collective because we felt like we needed the forces of the many to impact the kind of change we were interested in seeing in the world. The Future Now was a site-responsive project that we did along the Third Street Corridor in Bayview. This was during the height of the pandemic, so we did a series of 15 posters that were responding to issues of the moment. Because everything was shut down, there was a sense of bringing these prompts and questions into the world. And we were really trying to think about, as people walk in fear up and down the streets, how can we engage the background of that really startling moment? One of our recent projects, Inflating Agitation, is a giant inflatable where the visual is taken from of a deconstructed monument that was part of the Black Lives Matter movement. We sort of insert into places where there's a history of social movements by rendering it as this inflatable deflatable. We can highlight the ways that that process of memorializing is actually this active process that needs to be continuously inflated to have a presence, but that it's also very fragile. This fellowship really frees us up to have integrity in our creative process. It gives our collective freedom to do what we do, which is to create networks by bringing people of color together in these moments of solidarity and mutual aid. Sometimes the restrictions on awards fundamentally determine the nature in which an artist can live and work. This kind of award accommodates the kind of openness that an artist needs to really succeed.